looked at the three default layouts that Connect gives you in your meeting space. And if we work with just those three, when a user enters the room, in general, they're going to be taken to the sharing interface. This may be fine, but in my experience, it is helpful to give them a space that gives them some information about your meeting and allows them to test their audio if you're using uh, audio here and not a conference call. Uh, and the way we do that is by creating a lobby for your meeting space. So we're going to quickly go over the process of creating a new layout called the lobby and setting that up. So what I'm first going to do is go up here to the layouts menu and I want to create a new layout and we're going to give it a name of lobby and we click OK. We're creating a blank layout because we're going to add some pods to it. So we click OK and the first thing that I find it useful to do is add a uh, timer pod that lets people know how long it is before the meeting is going to start. We have a timer pod in the uh, shared directory here on this server so if you go pods and share and select from content library that's going to open up a browser and we want to look at shared content and you can see here's a directory called timer pod if we click on that we select the timer pod and go open and it creates a very large sharing pod we want to resize that down a bit because we don't need quite that much space and you'll see that this says the meeting will be starting in 59 minutes. Um, you're going to want to change the start time to reflect the reality of when your meeting is actually going to start. So I click the Host Options button here, and I put in the number of minutes, and I go Update, and it changes to that. Now that's something you'll do when you are getting ready to run your meeting. Um, at this point, just building the lobby, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. We can put any time in there. So there's our timer pod, and this will count down and it just gives people uh, an idea of when they should start really paying attention. I also find it very useful to include the attendee list here uh, and that gives people a chance to see how many other folks are logged in. It also gives you as the uh, meeting host a chance to take a look at who's logged in already. And it's often useful to have a note pod and we're going to create a new note pod here and resize that down to something a little more reasonable. And in the note pod, you want to put some information about uh, your meeting. Um, so if we're going to be using voice over IP, you, you put something in here about uh, please take a moment to test your computer's audio setup before the meeting starts. And any other information you'd like to share with your users before the meeting starts. Now, the font size here is a little bit small for some folks, so I'm going to go down here to my pod options, and I'm going to change my text size to 16 point, just to make it a little bit larger for folks. Um, it's also possible and maybe useful, depending on what the purpose of your meeting is, to add a file share, and you can populate this with files that users can download before the meeting starts. Uh, if you have ref reference materials or things like that, you can uh, upload those files here. And we're just going to grab a PDF. And it uplo uploads the PDF and makes it available for uh, users to download before the meeting starts. Those generally are the four pods that I would include in a lobby. Uh, you can, of course, include any other pods that you would like. Uh, if you have some web links you'd like folks to visit before the meeting actually starts, uh, you would add a uh, web links pod and include those links here. And again, if you're going to do that, I would strongly recommend you add something in the notes pod. It says, please visit this link before the actual meeting starts. Um, you can see that it gives folks just a uh, an opportunity to make sure that the machine is configured properly, to make sure that the audio is working or they've done any adjustments you want them to do. And uh, you can front load the content with some files that they may want to download and uh, links they may want to visit. So in a nutshell, that is uh, building a lobby. And uh, this is a very basic lobby, nothing fancy. It uses some of the shared content that we have on the server. 
and some of the standard pods that you'll find in any connect meeting.